Hi everyone, this is Yashvaja Vergia. Uh, this is the second part of the video. How do you create amazing customized emails, cold emails for clients within half an hour? So if you remember in the first part of video, I taught you how do you find contacts. So we went to Apollo.io, we searched prospects. I told you how to log into the account with free and how do you download an Excel sheet. These are the kind of contacts that were that Apollo.io generates. All right. So now I have the list of all of these 10 companies who who CEO and co-founders list I have along with their email IDs, their company websites. And what do they do? How many employees they have? If you don't know how to do this, then please watch my previous video, right? I have spoken about detail. Now, the, this Excel sheet gives me a detail about their personal LinkedIn, email ID, company's LinkedIn, website, basically all the information that all the places that I need to go to to find information about them. Now, in this video, what I'm going to show you is that how do you use this information to generate automated cold emails? In the next part, I'll show you that how do you send these emails, right? Now, let's start in understanding what a cold email is. So I'll show you a sample cold email that I have received some time back, right? So look at this. This is a this is a company. This is from a company called Yellow Seed. Now, this is a cold email from them pitching my services. Now, when you look at it, what does it show? It is pretty obvious that this person does not know who I am. They haven't done any research from me. What they have done is the only customization that they have is the my name. That they took a list and they took my first name. Now, what I am going to be showing you is that how do you leverage GPT to create such amazing customization that your client feels that you're writing only to them and nobody else. Imagine if this email, instead of just writing about yellow seed, they would have written that we know that this is the work you do in Los Rico. And these are some of the amazing milestones your company have achieved, like congratulations on your IPO. And I see you're doing amazingly. What does it show? It make me feel, it makes me feel special. It makes me feel that the person who is talking to me, they have done some amount of research for me, right? So now this is what I'm going to be doing here. I will show you that how do you create amazing level of personalization using GPT. I have a cold email template that we will share with you as a link here. So you can copy the templates that are there and just do it. But right now I'm going to be showing you the first template that is there in that email and how do you achieve that level of personalization. So let's go to GPT. I've already done this so that we can fast forward this process. So what I did do, I copy paste the entire content from here. So I will delete unnecessary details, right? So what are the things that I need? I need the first name of the client. I need to know what company they are working for, right? So the website of the company and their company's LinkedIn ID. Why? Because this is where I will get to know what does company do. So I delete all the unnecessary information that is there from these right so what i will be left with is just these three columns are important because i will go to their website i will go through their personal linkedin id i will go through their company linkedin id and i will find out more about what they are doing this is how i would have done it without ai so what i would have done is i would have gone to zach's personal linkedin id see what kind of work he has done i would have gone to their website understood what they are doing right now and i would have created their company linkedin id now what I am going to do is I will copy these first four columns. I will do control plus C and I will paste, paste it in GPT. I've already done it here, right? So I'm copy pasting these four datas here in chat GPT. Now, what do I do? I want to write personalized cold email to the above guys. Each cold emailing personalization requires custom first line. So what is a custom first line? So if you see this email, it starts talking about just them, not anybody else. What I want to do is when I send a cold email to somebody, I want to write a very personalized cold email about them, what they are doing, what are the things that they do. So how do I do that? Instead of going, having to go through their personal websites, I will use AI to generate those cold email customization. Please draft a table with first name, email ID and custom first line. This is the format. 
search the website and other information given and create those lines copying the format below so observation about the startup something noteworthy and problem so basically what i'm asking gpt to do that you take somebody's name you take their linkedin id you take their website you take everything find out what is the work that they are doing and where they are doing this right and have a very pinpointed personalized lines that i can add on top of every email so observation about the startup now based on the information from the above website and the personal data here is a draft table so christine at national food i was impressed by impressed by national food's dedication to food production however have you considered expanding your digital presence to reach a wider audience so when i am sending my marketing services on, so now see what gpt has done automatically without me telling it what the business was what it was they have gone they have read the website they have understood that what they do like for instance look at national foods what are the things that they are doing their website so automatically gpt went read the content of the website they went on the linkedin they figured out what they are doing and then they have created now when i when my cold email starts with this what does it mean it means that the other person will feel that i have researched about them i know what their exact business is right now i wanted something a little bit more detailed right this is good but i want to show them that dude i am only writing this email to you and i am not writing this to anybody else so i am asking them i am asking gpt to look for more personal details right so the custom first line to needs to be more personalized in the format observation about the startup that something noteworthy what that startup is doing and what might be the problem that they are facing that i am looking to solve also look for the personal details of the person i am writing so so figure out that who i am writing to and figure out the details again redo the table again so see national food has established as itself as a significant player in the food production industry however your digital presence seem so what is the custom i was impressed by national food strong foothold in the food production sector yet i notice potential gap in leveraging your digital presence to its fullest now look at the amazing line that is there your seminar especially on this topic caught my attention however are these offering reaching the wide vast online I, now i don't even know what this thing was right digital growth's commitment to empowering financial brands in the digital age stands out but in this rapidly evolving age of ai are there aspects you might be overlooking like immediately it catches attention because the person knows what i am working at so look at this now these are the cold emails that are there now you can always improve upon it i am still not satisfied so what i do i make it more specific look at this table Christian, I tried exploring National Foods offering online, but found limited information. Have you considered enhancing your website to better reflect your brand significance in the food production sector? SDL specialized seminars, particularly here, are impressive. Are you maximizing your online channels to promote these unique offerings? Right. So, some of the work that you can do. This is the kind of personalization you do. Now, why am I asking you to create table? because in the next part of video i will show you that how just by using this table you will use a mail merge tool called merco and we will send at least 10 emails within uh, 10 minutes right so what is the process that we are following first we go to apollo.io we create we get the list after that we use gpt to generate very very personalized first line now imagine this line goes on top of whatever you're talking about your business right so automatically when somebody opens that email the level of personalization that they think they think that you're talking only to them that is there so if you want me for the third part the, uh, the last part where we have identified that these are the people we write to and this is the level of personalization in emailing that we do how do we send those emails then let me know then i'll create the third part of you i hope that this was useful to you i will share the link of the gpt uh, on the sidebar along with 
uh, cold email templates that we have specifically created as part of exercise for the students who join our course right so yeah thank you looking forward to see you in the next part